guys and welcome to a quick video of how to change the levers on a Kawasaki ER6F. First of all, the tools we're going to need, simple as this, just a screwdriver and a ratchet with a 10mm socket. The screwdriver is just to hold this part on the top and underneath that is a 10mm nut for the brake one, that's all you need, take that out, this should come off, new one on. And you'll see that and for this one you'll just need the 10 mil socket for underneath I don't know if you can see that it's a bit awkward to see even for me but you don't need anything on this I think this is about a 12 or 13 mil it's probably 12 but as you can see this pit, bit here this part here actually holds this bolt in place there so when you put it back together hold it in there and then just do it up to underneath again you just need to take that out I need to loosen this I might not need to use the screwdriver to do that because I can't turn it someone's tightened it right up so I'll have to loosen that so I can get the so here's the clutch lever I'm going to be putting on it says ER6F on there which is a nice little touch I think they're nice looking they're adjustable so you can undo this and lengthen them if you want them longer they're foldable as well like this just trying to make sure I've got it in camera because I'm just doing it by hand at the minute and uh, yeah, all pretty much the same on the other one, but this part will obviously be a bit different because it, it's the brake one. But yeah, it should be pretty simple to fit. I have also got some copper slip. You should really use silicon grease, but copper slip will do for now while I haven't got anything else, and that can be changed at some point anyway. And that'll be fine, that'll prevent corrosion and stuff. First things first, let's get this lever up by undoing that, that under there, and I'll get back to you once I've got it undone. Right, so there we are, I've got the little nut off the bottom there. Now I should be able to push that through, there we go. And that bolts off. And as you can see, that's coming apart there. Put that on there for me. You can see it's got a load of old grease on this, we'll clean that up and put some copper grease on that. So I loosened this all the way up, tighten it is this way. Loosen it that way, I've loosened it all the way, so I should be able to pull that out. And also, I'll need to try and get the little spacer out of the hole there so I can put that in the new lever. We've got to try and get this out somehow, twist that around so I can see what I'm doing. And you've got to get this part out of there going to be a little bit awkward but there's the, you can see where the wire goes in there and you've got to get that out, there it comes, there it comes. God that's really fluffy, that put loads of grease on this. Right, stop lever now off. I couldn't get that off at first, I realised that wire in the end, I had to adjust the lever to move it away from it and then just lift straight off and this comes off also. It's a bit awkward doing this with one hand but that comes off also so you can get to that pin easier. Should be able to pull that out easier. Should be able to pull that out easier because of that. Sorry about my shoddy camera work, I might used to do it by hand. Right, that comes out really easily. And if you notice there's a notch on it, or groove on it, whatever you want to call it, that goes to the bottom. So I'm now going to just wipe it as clean as I can. Put some copper grease on it, put some copper grease in the hole it goes into. And a bit in here, I'll probably just get, give that a bit of a wipe to clean it out a little bit. I'll put a little bit on the top and bottom, all nice and clean. No, I didn't think about how I'd do this, I should have probably put my helmet on with the camera. <laughs> I'm now going to put copper slip, copper grease, whatever you want to call it on it. So you just blew away. But I, all I do is smear that on with my finger all over this and then put it in the hole. So I'm going to have to put it down again while I do that. There we go. It's all copper grease to remember that groove which is at the top. Is at the bottom, so that'll go in this way. And just pop that in there, hopefully. <laughs> Definitely needed two hands for that, but that's now in. That's really tight, hopefully that's fine. As you can see, I put copper grease on all the bits I think are touching. And we're now just gonna turn it up this way, get that pin in, turn it round and pop it in. And I'll be back with you soon. That pin just goes in there. 
Once I see you about to twist it round and you'll see that just goes in like that and that's in place. And I'll get back to you once I've got that. So there we go, that's all in place. Just got to put that like that. I've put a little bit of copper grease on the nut but not uh, the bolt but not where the nut goes. And I just gotta get that in place. It's a little bit awkward because that's moving about a bit so there we go I've got the pin in <laughs> I had to just put the camera down for a sec there you go and that's in right in place perfect so now I just have to put the little nut on the other side give the exposing bits a clean up to get the <laughs> grease off I can do that more once it's fully together I've just got to put the nut on the bottom. So there we go. Cut side pretty much done. Put your finger in the go. It's alright, doesn't it? One thing to do now is just tighten the cable. I'll make sure there's a little bit of play. I think that's okay. Feels good, just need to try it out. Yeah, that's that side done. And we've got to move on to the brake side, which I think will actually be a little easier. So this is the same sort of bolt, but it's not got a bolt on top, it's a screw thing. Just put a screwdriver in, hold it while you undo the nut underneath. You may be able to see or may not. That comes out, lever comes out, new lever goes in, bolt back in, done. Should be as easy as that. I've got the nut off the bottom, you have to unscrew this a little further because the thread goes in somewhere. Someone's put Loctite on it at some point, which I think is unnecessary for something like this. So I think how the kid and my neighbour is screaming and shaking while he's playing video games. But yeah, so that's off with so this. There you go. Should just come straight off. Now I've got some I get that pin out of this one. Because it's a bit different to the other one. I don't know if it come apart, but I'll see in a sec. That might actually come out in a minute. No, only once the pin's out. But I've got to get that out so I can put it in a new one and then we'll fit it on. On the brake side I'll find something out, especially with this lever. I was gonna bash this out, I did start this moved out a little bit, I don't know if you can see on camera. Because as you saw, I had to put the other one in the clutch side, and that's what I expected to do with this, because that's how it is most of the time. I thought, just in case, I'll try and fit the bolt, because this bolt has the smooth bit that goes into the hole, that allows it to turn and stuff. I thought, I'll just see if I can play in, see how loose it is. And that's actually, if you can see that, it's actually a perfect fit, so I don't actually need that pin. I'll just grease that up. Put it on and away we go. I'll just grease up. <laughs> well, grease this up and then I'll be back. Right, there we go. I've got to slide it in there. Oops. Now that's in place. I've just got to put you down a bit so I can put the pin through the hole because it needs just pushing back a bit to keep coming back out if I'm letting go to try it with one hand. I'll be back once I've just slid this in. And I've probably overdone it a bit with the uh, grease but I can clean that all off once it's done. First of all I'm going to just screw this down as far as that goes. Oops. Trying to check you, know, you can see on the back of the GoPro. And once that's screwed in, because that does screw in a bit on the bottom end and then you can put the nut on as well. Tighten that up and we'll take a look around at it. 
you know, how to tighten up the nut on zip. Just don't over tighten, don't need to be that tight. You could check the torque specs, but that'll be very low. So just tighten it till it feels tight. So there we go, all done. I just need to give it a bit of a cleaner. I might need to get some more tissue to clean that up fully, but. One thing to check when you test fitting, and once you've fitted it on the brake side, is make sure that it's pressing the brake switch afterwards, not that it's already pushing on it, because some people have said that their aftermarket levers have made their rear brake lock, which is obviously not a good thing. So you want to make sure it's not pushing in on the plunger or whatever you've got on your bike that'll be set up slightly different this part here just pushes in onto a plunger on the inside it looks a bit different to some but it's sitting what seems to be perfectly up on it there and you can hear the click of the brake switch which will put the brake lights on so I'll just give it a clean up make sure they're adjusted for my hand We'll take it for a little worried and test it out. See what it looks like. I'm quite pleased with the look of them. So, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> Alright, there we are. <laughs> Shorty levers, like I say, they could be extended if I want them to. I've got them on level 4. If you put them on level 1, they are really close. Level 6 is quite far away but still usable for me. But yeah, I kind of like the feel of them at the minute. Just go and make sure that everything works. The brakes are not binding at the moment and if I just squeeze it gently, you can see the brakes then go on. You can see the brake light isn't on constantly and when you just press it a bit, it comes on as it should. So that's all good as well. So let's just take it for a little spin and see how it is. So far feels great. They look awesome. Really can't see them much from sitting here. But yeah, it seems to work fine. We'll just get down there a bit and we'll check the brakes again. Or for the first time actually on it, but for the first time properly. Make sure there's nothing behind me. I'm not going to slam them on or anything or do no emergency stop. I'm just going to see how it feels to brake once it's straightened up a little bit. Right. Yeah, it feels fine. Brakes are working fine. I can do it gradually and not too much bite. Or if you just give it a little bit more, there's a nice bite. So it's all working as it should. Some of you may have noticed in my last video in this video that that is rattling a bit. I think where I put it on that tab has <laughs> lifted it up a little too high so it's maybe a bit too thick so I need to cut that down a bit as you can see there's a bit of a gap there you know more so than usual that's enough of that I'll just try and figure that out no more videos on that it's just something I have to put up with while I <laughs> almost got him like an idiot though that's something I just got to put up with while riding for now until I sort that out fully. Cost 36 quid, I think it was, when I looked for one of those side plastic bits, which in some ways isn't too bad, but when you think it's just a plastic bit, it's like, blimey, <laughs> just for a bit of plastic, but it's obviously has to be sourced, moulded, and all that stuff. So. Beamer getting up my ass, I just had to say, see ya. Working perfectly right now. So that's how you fit aftermarket levers to an ER6F. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ha, 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 ha. I come in like ha ha, I'm ill like nah nah And y'all don't wanna see me cause I'm ill with the skill